A Florida jury awarded a smoker's widow one of the largest ever legal wins against a tobacco company, a whopping $23.6 billion in punitive damages. Cynthia Robinson sued the R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company, maker of Camel Cigarettes and other tobacco products, for not informing her husband that cigarettes are addictive and can cause lung cancer. They concealed information that was harmful to a human uh, for years. Robinson's husband, Michael Johnson, died in 1996 of lung cancer at just 36 years old after smoking for most of his life. This award is the highest amount a jury in Florida has ordered since 2006. But why such a high amount? Again, the jury ruled that Robinson be given the $23.6 billion in punitive damages. Punitive damages are meant to punish the defendant and are paid to the plaintiff. Then the $16.8 million was awarded for compensatory damages damages for covering what was lost, in this case Robinson's husband. She gets those too. A New York Times article included a quote from a high-profile lawyer who explained a verdict this pricey is not typical. There have not been multi-billion dollar punishments in these types of cases for one reason. We are afraid to ask for them. We are afraid of what will happen in the appellate process. There aren't a whole lot of details out yet about what went on in the courtroom to make the jury decide on such a high amount, but Robinson's lawyers are speaking out. NPR reports attorney Christopher Chestnut said, the jury wanted to send a statement that tobacco cannot continue to lie to the American people and the American government about the addictiveness of the deadly chemicals in their cigarettes. Obviously, R.J. Reynolds is not thrilled about the verdict. Pensacola News Journal obtained a statement from Reynolds Vice President Jeffrey Rayborn saying, the verdict goes far beyond the realm of reasonableness and fairness and is completely inconsistent with the evidence presented. CNN points out this case used to be part of a class action lawsuit that was overturned by the Florida Supreme Court. In its 2006 ruling, the court cleared the way for individual lawsuits against tobacco companies. R.J. Reynolds' reps say they plan to appeal the ruling. For Newsy and Madison Burke, multiple sources, a broader view.